Hello everyone, welcome to Mac Michigan's Gaming here or in this episode we are now going to call this Matty Moo's Wrestling News ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Yep, cue the awkward music which I don't know how to edit just yet uh, Yep, um, don't obviously let this game fool you uh, I don't have the equipment to obviously video myself um, doing this video so I've just got this in the background whilst I say my pre predictions and what I think may or may happen at Wrestlemania 34 this Sunday um, so having a look at, at the card at the minute uh, Cedric Alexander versus Mustafa Ali for the Cruiserweight Championship I'm gonna go with Cedric Alexander uh, that's it, uh, this is on the kickoff show uh, the other two matches on the kickoff show are the two uh, Memorial Battle Royals uh, we'll start off with the women's uh, I'd like to hope that uh, Becky Lynch wins the women's Memorial Battle Royal just simply gives her a push you know I think she's just massively underused um, at the minute and I think she deserves a hell of a lot better <coughs> uh, for the men's uh, I'm gonna go with I'd say because uh, Big Cass is supposedly returning so I'm gonna go with either Big Cass or Baron Corbin uh, that being said um, I also believe that whoever eliminates Baron Corbin he will probably you know uh take revenge on them that could build up to a future storyline so that could be something on to the main show on to the main show uh we'll start off with the bar versus braun strowman and a mystery partner safe to say i don't think it's going to be brains strowman as his partner um again going with multiple predictions here i think it could either be bray wyatt or I'd like to possibly then again I don't think he'd make his appearance on the main roster like debut at Wrestlemania but I think maybe because Strowman gave a bit of a hint don't know if that was because of the whole brain Strowman thing but the fact that he said oh you know he's somewhat like me all that sort of thing um, I'm going to go with Lars Sullivan from NXT um, you know I think you know them two could be forced to be reckoned with Either way, I can see, uh, depending on obviously Strowman's partner, I can see Braun winning. Uh, how much he'll be a team player, I don't know, but that remains to be seen. Uh, Usos versus New Day versus Bludgeon Brothers. Um, I don't know whether they're going to make any changes to this. I'd personally like to see that uh, as a ladder match. Um, but assuming it's just a triple threat tag team. Um... I'm gonna go. To be honest, I'm probably gonna go with uh, uh, the New Day on this one. Just simply, uh, they sort of—I don't know—they've been a bit quiet off the scene, off the pace, and I feel you know this could possibly propel them again. Uh, Miz versus Seth versus Finn Balor. Um, again, triple threat for the Intercontinental Championship. I'm going to go with, um, I think, The Miz, personally. I think The Miz is going to retain. Um, I just think Seth and Finn are going to try and outdo each other. And Miz is just going to sort of let them do what they do. And The Miz is probably going to capitalise at the end. Uh, um, Charlotte Flair versus Asuka. Uh, I can see Asuka winning this. Uh, I can see the undefeated streak possibly going on for another year uh, there has been talk about Oscar winning the championship um, then then going unbeaten all the way till next year's Wrestlemania where she'll face uh, Ronda Rousey uh, again whether or not obviously that will happen or not I have no idea uh, it's just obviously rumours and stuff that I hear um, so yeah I think Oscar will win that Alexa Bliss versus Nia Jax um I think Nia Jax is going to win that. I think Alexa Bliss has had a run. And again, that for me, I just think if 
no I wins it that will keep the uh, obviously the rivalry thing going which could go on for a while uh, Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon versus Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn uh, obviously I'd say if it wasn't for the stipulation uh, I'd probably say Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon but I can't I, well see again it's one of those things where you, you know they if, if WWE was smart they could do a fair bit with this storyline they could either just take the shortcut that Ke Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn win boom they're back on Smackdown uh, you know either way I can't see Daniel Bryan being um, general manager much longer as he's obviously you know uh, as he's obviously been cleared to wrestle again however part of me would like to see Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon win and then for Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn to sort of appear each week you know take the show hostage that sort of thing or you know kick up a bit of a riot um, whether or not that could then bring Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn to Raw again I don't know Triple H and Stephanie McMahon versus Kurt Angle and Ronda Rousey again uh, Triple H and Stephanie have pretty much been over the past several years obviously been letting their opponent win somewhat um, don't know if this is going to again happen whether Either way, I can't see... Again, I can't see Kurt Angle being general manager too much longer. Um, so, they could possibly try and do a bit of a storyline thing with this. Um, I can see Kurt and Ronda Rousey winning this. Uh, Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns. Um, I, I can only see this going one way, uh, and that's Roman Reigns winning. I know that's probably going to get dislikes or whatever, but um, uh, as of today, uh, uh, supposedly Brock Lesnar has agreed terms to join, uh, rejoin UFC. Um, so obviously, with that being the case, um, yeah, I can't see Brock Lesnar um, obviously being in WWE much longer. Uh, I can't see. I can't see Brock Lesnar doing what uh, Lashley did in TNA, which was when Lashley did MMA as well as um, obviously carrying the TNA title at the same time. I can't see Lesnar doing that. I mean, Lesnar's already on a part-time schedule as it is. He'd probably make even less appearances. Um, AJ Styles versus uh, Shinsuke Nakamura. Um, normally, the Royal Rumble winner normally goes on to win the match at WrestleMania, and I think the same thing is going to apply here. Whether or not there could be a heel turn uh, after after this match, you know things could you, you know mind games and build up for more rivalry. But yeah, I can see Shinsuke Nakamura winning this. Uh, a match that hasn't obviously been accepted or has been very quiet about um, is obviously will uh, Undertaker accept John Cena's Open Challenge. Um, Supposedly, uh, again, rumours going around that Undertaker is scheduled to be at this year's WrestleMania. Now, whether or not he's going to actually wrestle, or whether he's just going to make an appearance, do a bit of a stare down with Cena, um, maybe build up maybe a future match, again, I don't know. Um, so, some are saying that um, Undertaker's going to come back as the American Badass. Um, and come down on his motorbike, all that sort of thing. Um, again, that might have been why, um, you know, he hasn't appeared so far. You know, um, apparently, you know, he's got different haircut or, you know, different hairstyle, all that sort of thing. So, again, they might have just been trying to keep that as a surprise. Um, yeah, I don't know whether, you know, what they're really going to do here. Um, the word... Uh, is apparently as well is that Undertaker is well despite how old he is he is apparently fully healthy uh, this is the first time since I think Wrestlemania 26 against Shawn Michaels is the first time since the Wrestlemania 26 he's actually been healthy he hasn't gone into Wrestlemania without an injury so so you know it, whether or not obviously he'll you know if if they do put on the show you know or put on a match again that remains to be seen um 
so yeah th that's basically it for the, uh, for the card at the minute um, obviously there's uh, rumours uh, appearances from The Rock Hogan um, Stone Cold all that sort of thing um, again that remains to be seen uh, so yeah uh, that is my predictions uh, feel free to get involved uh, in the comments below if you have any you know uh, if you if you want to ask anything uh, uh, or, and, and simply feel free to give me your opinions on who you think um, are going to win their matches at Wrestlemania you know hopefully we can start up a bit of a discussion topic uh, feel free to contact me at Matty Michigans on Twitter as well and uh, I think uh, safe to say uh, we're all looking forward to Wrestlemania and uh, also uh, uh, feel free to let me know as well if you, if you guys want me to do a um, NXT uh, predictions review as well or preview as you as you like um, again uh, if you comment let me know I'll, I'll give I'll give the fans what they want I'll give the viewers what they want but I think that's going to do us for now um, thank you so much for watching listening and feel free to get involved as always and I look forward to speaking to you all soon Bye-bye for now.